Hey guys, Q&A number 14, three quick questions and answers coming at you. So first one is, how often should I be hungry? This is going to depend person to person. So a lot of people like eating a standard three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner. A lot of people like a couple snacks in between those. Some people eat even more frequently than that or even less. Um, some people eat one meal a day, maybe two, skip breakfast, just do lunch and dinner. It really depends on the person. Now, how often you're going to be hungry, a big factor in that is just how often you're eating. So if you're going to have smaller, more frequent meals, you're going to be hungry more often. If you're going to have bigger meals less often, um, vice versa, of course. But also if you're transitioning from one to the other, so if you're going from, say, uh, four meals a day, you eat you know, a breakfast, kind of like an earlier lunch, a later lunch, uh, a later second lunch, and then dinner. If you're going from that to say three meals, and you're just increasing your portions a little bit from the four meals to the three, you might find a little bit of a transition period where you're a little hungrier. Um, that's okay, it'll go away. The body adapts, it's amazing. It will, it will adapt from the four to the three. I'd say, you know, take it in small increments if you're trying to increase meals or decrease meals. Um, but really the body just kind of adapts to what you, to the input that you give it. So no, neither is better than the other. Um, eat as many times as you like. If you prefer more meals, do that. If you pre prefer less meals, do that. Um, I do kind of like a three meal approach just because I find it is it's just easier time-wise, prep-wise, than if I was doing, say, four or five. Um, I just think about food less. I have bigger portions at each meal, and that works for me. But just find out what works for you. Second one is butter or margarine. Hands down, butter. Uh, butter is, is a natural source of food. Margarine isn't. It's a, it's a chemically made product. So whenever in doubt, if there's a question like this, butter or margarine, um, go with the more natural route or the thing that's closer to whole food. Uh, that's, that's the safest way to go in my opinion. What is your favorite type of alcohol? So beer is by far my favorite type of booze. I can't always tolerate a ton of beer. It just kind of depends on a number of different factors. Um, I, I wouldn't want to drink beer all night long. It would probably throw off my stomach a little bit. So I do, I, I really enjoy beer. If I could do uh, just strictly drink beer, I'd be super happy with that. I love IPAs, uh, hoppy IPAs, but it doesn't always work out digestion wise. So I really like cider too, but if I had to pick one, it would be beer. Um, as far as what you should drink, just go with what you tolerate, go with what you prefer and uh, just tweak it, play with it. Um, if you, you know, if you're a whiskey guy, do that. If, if you tolerate it well, go for it. Those clearer boozes, like the, the quote unquote cleaner ones, like a vodka gin, whiskey, just they are what they are. Uh, those are typically tolerated a lot better than things like, you know, beer, sugary drinks, um, all that sort of stuff. Sometimes even wine people get thrown off with, they get headaches, whatever it may be. Again, super individual to you and just go by, you know, what makes you feel good. So that's three quick ones. Uh, if you have any questions for future Q&As, hit me up and hope you learned something. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.